Hello and welcome back and in this lecture we'll see how to um, incorporate documents into uh, Chabra to generate the uh, bibliography. Uh, to start with, uh, open the uh, Chabra Yeah, um, the uh, software is now open. So the first thing is go to file and uh, probably uh, we can create new. So this will be our uh, new uh, database kind of thing. And it's untitled, which means we have not assigned any name. So I'm going to save library. So I can save it in a um, folder. That will be very handy for me to retrieve back. Go to desktop. I'm gonna click new folder. Uh, say my you can type uh, bibliography or my reference. I just put a short form my ref. Say, for example, it's for my PhD research. So I just put PhD research. You can name any um, thing like whichever is comfortable to you. I'm gonna click a PhD uh, res uh, research and I'm gonna click save. And if you could say, you see that uh, the name untitled get changed to phdres.bib. BIB is a, a bibliography extension. So this is pretty much we'll be using uh, in uh, accordance or in association with LaTeX. So we'll talk about that a little later. But as of now, we have created a um, database. Now, there's a small plus icon. So that is what we call a new article. And uh, there's something called new entry. And uh, this is uh, from a plain text and so on. So I'm going to click this plus. Yeah, so this is a new article. So the first document I'm going to click is the uh, article. Or suppose if you wanted to uh, uh, click a plain text, you can even pretty much click this bigger icon. Or if you wanted to click uh, the new entry, then you can type in the uh, what do you call the zoner of the file because that could be a book or booklet in collection. We'll come back to this a little later, but as of now, for this lecture, I'm gonna type a uh, um, sample. Uh, in fact, I can use my own uh, research paper uh, as an illustration. So I'm gonna go to Google. I'm gonna type uh, automated constructability. Just I'm gonna click enter. The first. Um, Article is my article and it gets cited by four people till now and uh, so this is the article which we have published uh, in 2018 so I scroll down to the details uh, here it is the, yeah here it is the teacher I can download citation that will be a RIS file so in another video, we'll talk about how to uh, import references into a job rep, but um, in this case, we'll just type it manually. Uh, since uh, this is an already uh, what you call set a reference, so I'm gonna take the apparent uh, document or this particular raw uh, what you call data. I'm gonna convert that into uh, probably. Yeah, reference. So this is the first author name. So I'm gonna go to my uh, job ref and in the author column, I'm gonna type uh, M Ramesh Kannan. When I type M dot Ramesh Kannan, you see it gets automatically converts into Kannan comma MR. So the default uh, style. We'll come back. Um, we or in another video we'll be working on the different uh, reference style. But as of now, we'll keep as default. And I'm gonna click and. And here it, it's a separator. It separates the first name and the second name. If you have multiple authors, you have to put and and and. So that's how it works. And uh, M Helen Shanti. And this one click copy. I'm gonna click paste here. Yeah, you see, Kanan comma MR and Shanti comma MH. So it's so quick. And uh, the title of the paper is this. And I'm gonna click the title yeah here it is and uh, this is the title and uh, the journal uh, the journal is asian journal of civil engineering and uh, and year is 2018 so 2018 
this is called biptech key uh, i'll come back to this and explain uh, about biptech key because that will be useful for cross referencing in latex document and uh, to do you can do a manual uh, entry say for example the last name of my of the first author in, in this case is my name so it's kanan and year 2018 uh, if i have got the two articles published in the same year then i'll just put kanan 2018 and kanan 2018 a and and so on so abc and you can differentiate that so this should be unique the this is a key this key is used to unlock the details of your reference so make sure that this should be unique no two references have the same key that's very important so this is manually generated this is how i generate and um, up to this if, if i start typing it you see this articles gets automatically uh, embedded in the uh, list so this is pretty much important thing so you can even generate uh, using I mean the computer can also generate or the job ref generates for you so click here and this is a generate key citation uh, there's a small key kind of icon so click that that also gets uh, generated the same but I don't prefer uh, having uh, capital letters because that might create a confusion so I just stick with the manual entry itself so i'm gonna click con i mean i press ctrl s to save this and it saves the library and uh, after that it's an optional like volume number page isn and something like that so volume uh, i'll go to the uh, this thing is volume is 19 and uh, it doesn't have any issues so i just put volume uh, is 19 it might have got issues so to check that I'll go to the bottom most thing and the issue I does not have issue so this volume 19 and I'm gonna copy the page numbers pages exactly from that so you see everything gets automatically updated here and uh, it doesn't have a number so I don't I leave it blank and month ISSN or optional say for example if I uh, ISSN probably it doesn't have it just have a doi but it's not uh, you can find it from the uh, journal journal uh, will have issn number so we don't have, we don't have to really worry about that at this point of time uh, i believe this gets published in april uh, yeah it's published in april 2018 so even if i provide april it's not gonna it automatically converts into the format it requires or uh, I just have a drop down so I've got an April so if uh, so something like that so it doesn't uh, matter actually so month is not a very important thing in for journal it might be useful for conference but uh, journal month is not generally required and depreciated fields is something like uh, April which is something it's a default and um, general if it has a DOI yeah it definitely has a uh, what do you call a DOI? Mm, probably uh, let's just go to this. Yeah, here's a DOI. I can copy entire stuff and I can paste it. So, yeah, here is cross references, keywords. Uh, it's not necessary. So, let's take a look at the uh, keywords that will be uh, probably below the abstract. Oh, keywords is not printed here. So we leave it as it and um, probably what's next is the keywords reprint URL. I'm gonna take this copy and I'm gonna click it as an URL. Yeah, here it is. File, uh, I can import it from my computer or I can probably uh, download from URL. So I just type in URL and I click, yeah, it's not or does not exist, which means that it's it just uh, have to be it's not an open source it's a paid thing so and the groups owner you can come uh, we'll be discussing that in much detail in the uh, other videos and abstract so if you could able to copy the abstract that's a very big abstract mm, yeah here it is i just pasted like, like this is an optional thing not necessarily comments if you have any comments like 
the paper is good bad and some uh, factors or contradicting or it's, it's a base paper kind of thing and uh, we'll come back to this later articles a little later and this is the very important stuff uh, at this moment, I try uh, deleting the abstract because it looks very, very ugly. Okay, so this is our, um, what do you call it, the BibTeX source file. This is actually our um, reference or referencing thing. And the uh, LaTeX citations, uh, no citations, oh, this is uh, an uh, associated file. So we'll come back to that later. So this is our first document and uh, probably this looks pretty much confusing for you because you have not used LaTeX before but this is a very important thing that you don't have to really uh, worry about different referencing styles for, for different formats of uh, documents say different journals have got different referencing style but if you use LaTeX you can use the same document to mimic or based on their uh, template you can change it very quickly so this is such a wonderful thing. All right, so I can even export it, uh, export all entries and MS Office files, RIS files, DAN, uh, EndNote is another uh, reference manager, Harvard RTF, um, Harvard referencing style. We can even uh, try uh, incorporating different um, referencing style. We'll talk about that a little later. But I'm going to do uh, Harvard RTF in my reference folder and I can give a sample.doc. Let's take a look at like, yeah, it got exported successful. I'm going to do that. But sample, yeah, here it is. Uh, and uh, the uh, app format that we are actually uh, interested in. I hope you really enjoyed this session and this is all about how you uh, use your job group to incorporate the articles and I mean incorporate the details of the article to generate the uh, perfect bibliography or the references. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye bye.